Mom, I'm home. Hi, sweetie. How was your first choir rehearsal? Well, we had auditions for a solo. Already? Yeah. It was just to the song You Alone, you know, by Sour Heart. Mm-hmm. Well, did you get it? I didn't try out. What? Why? It's a long story, and I really don't want to discuss it, okay? I'm going to go to my room. Melody, you're not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Nothing's going on. I just didn't want to audition. That's not like you, Melody. You always, always jump at the chance to audition for something. Isn't that why you auditioned for the choir? Look, I had to fight my fight to get in. It's only natural that the teacher wouldn't let me let me audition. The teacher wouldn't let you audition? Oh, great. I said too much. You better sit down and tell me what's going on. Do I have to tell you everything? Yes, I'm your mother. Now sit. Mom, this is ridiculous, okay? No, it is not. <sighs> My stories can wait. Now, tell me what happened. Well, <clears throat> the teacher was going over the solo. Mm-hmm. And I walked over to her, and I said... I said, I'd like to sign up for audition. Okay? She wouldn't let me. Well, I know that much, but why didn't she let you? <sighs> Melody, tell me. Well, she said that I would never sing as well as certain people. And I might as well not try. Because I'm, she knows I'm not going to get the soul. She wouldn't even let you try out for it? No. And then she gave it to this girl, Julie, who sits next to me. And I am tired of her getting all the praise and everything. Honey, you sing very well, too. Then how come my teacher doesn't think so? She's a professional. Honey, that doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. I mean, I'm glad you and Cheyenne both think I'm a good singer, but you're my family. You're not hired to teach me how to sing. Sweetie. Look, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? Well, let me know when you do want to talk about it. This isn't right. This is so not right. <laughs> this video is so funny. <laughs> hey, Melody. Hi. Is something wrong? Why do people have to keep asking me if something's wrong? Come on, Melody. I do sort of know you. I know when something's bothering you. Spill. No, just go on your computer and play your stupid game or whatever you're doing. You know what? My computer can wait. You're more important to me than any computer. That somebody thinks I'm important. Tell me what's wrong. Did something happen at rehearsal? Yeah, but if I tell you, you're just going to react the same way Mom did. So Mom knows what's wrong? Yes, and I'd rather, and I would appreciate it if you kept it between me, you, and Mom. I don't want you taking action. Now you have to tell me what's wrong. <sighs> well, you know that solo that I wanted so much? You know, that song, You Alone? Yeah. You wouldn't stop singing it last night. Yeah, well, I wanted to audition for it, and the teacher wouldn't let me. Why? She said I don't sing as well as the other singers. She said that it's bad enough she made an error in picking me for the choir. What, did she think it was a mistake? It's basically what she said. She said it was a mistake to pick me, to accept me in the choir. And that I don't sing as well as all the other singers. And she gave it to this girl, Julie. Oh, is Julie nice? I don't know. I got really mad about Julie getting a solo, and I wasn't really very nice to her. What do you mean you weren't nice to her? I told her that she was a teacher's pet, and that she gets everything she wants because she's the teacher's favorite. Is that true? Is what true? That she's a teacher's pet? 
I don't know, I just got so mad and I guess I took it out on Julie. You shouldn't have. I know, it was out of pure resentment and jealousy. But I don't know what to do to make things right. Well, you could start by calling Julie and apologize and maybe inviting her over. But I don't know her number. Look it up. You gotta fix this. Okay, but even if I fix the Julie problem, it doesn't solve my other problem, which is my teacher. She doesn't think they sing well. Well, we'll take care of that, but you got to take care of your problem, too. The Julie situation. Give her a call. It's a mature thing to do. I'll even give you privacy if you want. Okay, fine. I'll give her a call. Okay. I'll go sit with Mom. Okay. Wow, Mom, this show is going to be really interesting. I know. Maybe I'll watch it every day with you. It'll be something you and I could share together. Come in. Hi. Is this Melody's house? Yes, it is. What's your name? I'm Julie. Um, Melody called to invite me over. She wanted to talk to me. Oh, okay, well... Her room is across the hall from here. Thanks. If you guys need anything, let me know. Thanks. But I'll only be here for a little bit. Okay. Mom, is this a good idea? We'll see what happens, honey. Come in. Hi. Oh, Julie, please sit down. What did you want to see me for? Hold on, let me close my computer. You know, it's like I said on the phone. I'm really sorry for taking my anger out on you. Well, actually, I kind of understood why. What do you mean? I overheard the teacher talking to another teacher. What are you talking about? I heard the choir director talking to another teacher saying I only picked, saying that she only picked me to sing the solo because she didn't want to pick you. What? I know. When I heard, I was really upset. So I confronted the teacher and I said, you know what, don't, you shouldn't hurt people like that. I'm not going to sing the solo. Give it to Melody. And I went to the principal over this. And the principal agreed that you should have gotten the solo based on your experience and everything. You did that for me? Well, I would have been overwhelmed with guilt if I kept the solo after hearing what was going on. And I don't want to hurt you. Even though you hurt me, I wouldn't want to hurt you. Look, I'm really sorry about all the mean things I said. You didn't have to do this for me. Yes, I did. You should have gotten the solo. You should have at least been allowed to try out. I was mad when I found out that you couldn't try out. You were? Yes. I stand next to you in choir all the time, and you have a really, really good voice. A very good voice. And the teacher shouldn't have, shouldn't have prevented you from trying out. You really think I have a good voice? Send the chorus to you alone. Oh, I don't know, sing. You alone are holy, you alone are Lord, you alone are worthy to be honored and adored. Mercy you have given, kindness you have shown, love is you alone. See, you sound great. Teacher's going to talk to you tomorrow. No, I don't want her to talk to me. It's okay. She's not going to yell at you. She's not going to hurt you. Are you sure? I'm positive. I I'm scared. Don't be afraid. And if she does yell at you, I'll be right there. Why are you being so nice to me after all the mean things I said to you? I told you. I know how it feels to feel hurt like that. I wouldn't want you to go through what I went through, even if you were the one who put me through that. I really am sorry, Julie. 
Stop apologizing. It's fine. You're okay. Maybe we could start over and be friends. I would like that. Great. Come here. Teacher said she'll audition you. She'll let you audition tomorrow at rehearsal. If you have the guts to go. I do. Now that I know that you're going to be there for me. Well, look, I better go. I told my mom I'd be home by quarter after. Okay. So I'll see you in quarter tomorrow? I'll be there. Okay. Bye. Bye.